Hello, I'm first and foremost would like to give our praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Double hands to the apostles and elders of Great Bell Stone. And salutations to the, to the brothers in the house and the Bible is teaching his word now sincerity and in honesty. The Hebrew Israelites, saying, um, prophets of, <laughs> guys, the prophets of what? <laughs> anyway, we're the prophets of Yahweh, Basha of Yahweh, Shai, yes, yes, pray, I said, which the name, the, the word Yahweh, is, is, the, is the ancient Hebrew, um, which means he is, he is to be. Life basically, that's the name of the Mosai. Bahasham means in the name, and Yahweh is the name of the Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Yeah? Which is which is a, a Negro, not a, not a leper. Yeah? So, anyway, with that, I want to speak about prophecies, man. Same cause, right now we're living in the time of prophecies. And um, the more we come out, and the more we speak, yes, brother, I said. Uh, it's the more prophecies we see are, are take place. Prophecies on top of prophecies on top of prophecies. As a matter of fact, the, the article, we can start off with the article, um, the one that says um, the AI. Um, uh, Alright, this, yeah, that's one. Yeah, okay. This is, this is, uh, it's an article from um, Inc.com. It says, um, an AI expert told 60 minutes that AI could replace 40% of jobs. Here's the part he left out. Well, here's the part he left out, yeah? He yeah. says an AI expert <clears throat> told 60 Minutes that an AI could replace 40% of jobs. No, the last time we checked, we can see that um, the, 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 the regular functioning of these institutions <clears throat> it have continued through the time of that harder. More people are taking more loans to go to schools and stuff. And then they come out and there's no jobs there to, to pay that debt or to, to fill that gap. Like for example, you know these colleges that um, bring for teachers every year, you have thousands of, of graduates. But you don't really have no school or what? For the more you have schools that get shut down. Like um Fellowship Primary and Junior, for example. Now yeah, we go burn up with the work. Like grade six is like about five students. See, everybody like like they, they, they might try consolidate everybody in a one little area to the city. Exactly. See, so a lot of these schools are get closed down. Really, but this tells us that the AI AI can take forty percent of job, which these AIs is not like um or some things where you know other some concept where it exists. These AIs do exist. That's the reason why even Elon must come up here to them and say, yo, in, in fear AI can get smarter than men. See? In, 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 in look, eh? They know that. The AI can get smarter than men. Like, you know, like um, Skynet. What do you again? Terminator. Oh, Terminator with Skynet. Oh, Skynet start to take over because Skynet find out that um, men Basically, um, I destroy uh, um, the earth. Right, so, so basically, Skynet take over is the same thing. Yeah, continue on to talk. It says, um, it says artificial intelligence can replace um, repetitive tasks, but it doesn't have the em em empathy to lead. Yeah, what? Okay. It says, it says, huh? it says, um, yeah. The AI is going to. It says, it says, AI is going to change the world more than anything in the history of mankind. Kai Fu Lee told Scott Pelly in Sunday's edition of 60 Minutes. Yo, um, I should just care beside it. It says, um, Lee, a pioneer in artificial intelligence, predicted that the artificial intelligence will um, automate and, and potentially il eliminate 40% of jobs within 15 years, while the segment focused primarily, pri primarily on that unsettling scenario. 
60 Minutes did not highlight the most empowering aspects of Lee's work. With the right skills, humans can survive, thrive, and stand out in the new age of AI. What skills? Yeah, what skills? Programming. Programming? Hey, nobody, nobody is schools. The brother said nobody is schools now. Um, jobs basically that people going to these schools uh, to come out and get basically it's not future proof like, you know what I mean um, and, and basically AI in general I'm um, looking forward um, according to the so called white man see it's more efficient you know what I mean human human being um, often times make mistakes and less efficient and they complain about everything you know, they are, you know, they are, you know, raise a pay, all type of, all type of things, you know what I mean, to cut back on profit for these major companies basically, um, you know, the business to me. Since uh, at the end of the day, human usefulness in the job world will become obsolete, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And when that happens, guess what will happen after? I need to get rid of all of the people them where we just we just we just them out and just maybe I'll, I'll give trouble, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just have to just get exterminated. You know, what I mean that's so called white man plan. Um, you have a you have a, a place by uh, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you have a stone here called the Georgia Guidestone. A basically so called white man carved commandments and the stone and one of the commandments was to maintain um, the world population under 500, under 500 million. That is a drastic cut from 7 billion. From 7 billion. You know what I mean? So you can see where this thing is headed. And 15 years is very it's a very short time. You have AI basically, automation basically already taking jobs today. Exactly. Here you know what I mean? What? I spoke to Leo on publication of his best selling book. AI superpowers. Yes, he says AI will replace repetitive jobs, those tasks that can be automated like robots are doing in factories. It should also potentially replace many white collar tasks in the fields of accounting, right. health care, right. marketing, right. law, hospitality, and other areas. Right. You know, lawyers, not yeah, yeah, you have automation running the whole thing. Right now you have you have algorithms that AI basically um right now we basically can prescribe medication for you just write in whatsoever symptoms of feeling and it basically diagnose you whatsoever so you soon have a doctor's yeah what's you know what I mean so hey this is the part the thing is editing man but guess what The regular man out here feel like say, this thing will continue. Mm -hmm. You know, we can be prosperous in the society. Mm -hmm. You know, the so-called white man will make things nice and you know you will continue with technology and everything will alright you know. But guess what? These men plan to cut you off, man. Curl. You know what I mean? They plan to cut you off. This is a, this ain't no joke, man. This ain't no joke, folk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> and verse one. It says, Keep not thou silent, O Yahweh, all not thy peace, and be still. Oh, yeah, how? Oh, hey, hey, look, man. This is man of the Lord, man. Seeing what is to come. That's gonna be for the whole entire world, man. Yes, you know what I mean? I'm already say that, look, mass number of people is about to be put to death by the so called white man. He saw the devil according to the scriptures, man. This devil, in this moment in time, is gonna, gonna, gonna do a sore slaughter. Man. You know what I mean? And what the prophet said, he said, it's so shocking, you know what I mean? Look, man, man, manish, 
You to what? Beg the Lord to deliver you from the hands of these men, from what they're going to do, man. You know what I mean? Because the regular Negro out here don't have the idea. The level of death and carnage that is about to come upon them, man. You know what I mean? This is what we're supposed to be doing. Begging the, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, to deliver us from out of the hands of this wicked ass slayer, man. And this man is going to slay. You're not going to make a joke about it, man. This man, this man kills. I can use you, I can use me to try to kill everything. For lo, thy enemies made a tumult, and they that ate thee have lifted up the head. Right, so the so called white man, which is the enemy of the nation of Israel, number one enemy, because we have other enemies, we have the other nations, them are basically our enemy too. See, but the arch enemy, the so called white man, they make a tumult, man. You know what I mean? Right? Nice, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people yep. and consulted against thy hidden ones. So in the, in the mid, in the mid that you feel it like everything alright and everything goes smoothly. In the 2020s going into the 2030s, you know what I mean? Everything all nice, I get a girl, you know, get a, a, a Chris Kiar, a house, you know, get, get a couple of you whatsoever. You know what I mean? The life desire. You know, meanwhile, you're planning that the so called white man in the background planning to slay all of your ass. Right. You know what I mean? To get rid of your niggas, man. Right. You know? According to them, you are just a bunch of useless eaters, man. Yeah? So let's get you ready. We'll wipe you all up. So the scripture said, he make craft the council against thy people. Which people? The people them on the side. You know what I mean? All his plans are is to get rid of you niggas, man. Yep. One, then. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Come let us cut them off from being a nation. I, hey, look, man. Ever since slavery. See? So can white man along with the other nation them gonna work on Israel man. Them do a work on Israel man. To the point that niggas out here now see scoffing at the fact that we out here telling them that they are Israelite man. A Israelite don't even know him help from him foot. Now that you're telling that my Israelite now, it is a joke to him. The white man done a great work. <laughs> you know, destroying you. I know I'm about to destroy you physically, man. Physical destruction is coming upon you, man. Go on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Uh, cut you off from existence. That's what he planned to do. Hey, the scriptures say oh, if, if, um, if, if the stars or the ordinance of the heavens with, um, done away with, and if he can number them, the Lord will done away with Israel, man. And that's what the so-called white man dream is. Number the stars, you know what I mean? Number the sun and the sea, you know what I mean? That him can, that him can win that bet. <laughs> yeah? Wipe you all out. That is desire, man. Then, for, for they have consulted together in. Are we talking about the elite of the so-called white man? You are the ones that have the power to do so. You are the ones who are planning to do this, man. And they have all the power to do it. You know what I mean? Because in the process of doing this, they're going to kill the regular cracker, man. Who will not fall straight with the agenda. You know what I mean? A lot of them own them are going to get, get put to death. What say a Negro? Yeah? With one consent, they are confederates against thee. The tabernacle of Edom, Edom, on the top of the list, man. The number one enemy, arch enemy, so called white man. Edom, according to the scriptures, yeah? one. Um, and the Ishmaelites, right, the Arabs of Moab, right, and of. Chinese and of the Agarine, yeah. 
um, Jebel and Amar and Amalek. Right. Hmm? More Edomites there again. What? Philistines were inhabitants of Tyre. Hmm? So called Africans. Yeah. Ashur also is joined with them. They have opened the children of Lot. Yep. So these, these nations of confederacy destroy us as a people, man. See? When you look for our people right now from an economic, um, socio-economic standpoint, yeah, we're people at the bottom of the list, man. Hey, check the majority of the stores, them in Port Antonio, basically, you know what I mean? Our people shop. They have the Eden all them stores, man. They have, it, they have it, the, 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 the Asian them. You know what I mean? They have the Elamite them. Basically, the ones them from India or, or Pakistan or wheresoever. You know? Those are the ones that basically own the stores, them out here, man. 